Hi Aquarius, it's Elle here to do your daily reading. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It means a lot. Please continue to do so. All links are below. If you need to get in contact with me, let's get into it. All right. Thank you, God, for blessing Aquarius with a clear, concise message from you. All right. So let's see, Aquarius. Um, how do you feel about a particular person that you're coming to the reading for? Let's see how Aquarius feels. How does Aquarius feel about this person? Five of Swords. So you feel like um, you, you can't read them. Like maybe you feel like it's mind games or it's head games or it's misunderstanding or there's been very little communication nine of swords this, this person brings you a lot of anxiety again you feel like it's a lot it's a test it's um a test of wheels um it's also uh, a trial you know like you just don't know about this person they keep you up at night maybe what they say what they don't say just the the overall games that they play how does Aquarius feel yeah the ace of swords so you definitely feel like this person has you all up in your head um it's lots of um, mental agility going back and forth with this person. You also feel like maybe they're not telling you the, the complete truth. But you also feel like it's not completely over. You could be thinking the worst for some of you. You, you always have, you feel like you're always, you're needing to be on guard with this person because it's just lack of trust. You don't trust their character. Okay. How does this person feel about Aquarius? The particular person that Aquarius is coming to the reading for so eight of swords so they're all up in their head about you know they're, they're overthinking now they're feeling like they want you to come rescue them from their overthinking about you from being stuck on you um maybe they've even cried tears about you what is this um this person is very um maybe emotionally uh invested in this relationship and you uh, they don't show it um, the seven of swords, yeah, they don't show it. It's like they masquerade like something else. The three of pentacles, this person really wants to work with you or want work on this relationship or make it work. Or they feel like you're the best person to work with in terms of a relationship. But between the two of you, there's a lot of holding back out of distrust. You don't trust one another. Therefore, it's all up in your head for the both of you. This person is caught up in their emotions they know that you're the best person for them they want you to be that person for them they want you to be there they want this they want that but they're not sure if you want it also um and it's also just a lot of mystery surrounding you the other person this has been an ongoing cycle all right what is the advice for aquarius dealing with this person the three of cups just let it happen let the love flow towards you reconcile recommunicate communicate express your feelings um this person feels like you're the one that's gotten gotten away or vice versa this is how you feel uh ten of wands let the burden you know of holding back of not being able to uh, express yourself let it fall you know um there's a lot going on for you maybe and this person here so uh it could seem as if they're not as interested or this is how you're coming off but they are interested two of cups again let the love um that's flowing towards you flow you know the two of cups um let bygones be bygones reconcile heal this um and the six of swords yes reconcile uh, your differences and move on together or apart but whatever you need to do a decision needs to be made make the choice of reconciliation okay um let's see how aquarius um feels about career and finance What's going on for career and finance for Aquarius? What's going on for career and finance? Two of Wands. So you could be doing two different things for work. One eventually will kind of overtake or overpower the other where you're going to have to decide to put all your energy into one thing. It says that the grass is greener on the other side. You have found financial security in whatever it is you're doing here because you do it consistently on an everyday basis. Your work ethic is high. Make plans for the future in terms of whatever your career aspirations and financial aspirations are. Devil card. Um, don't be so ambitious to the point where you're doing anything for the money, for the fame. 
some of you could be in the music industry uh, some some of you could be in some type of industry here um, the devil card also says make sure that whatever you choose to do you don't be too extravagant in your choices here with the two of wands and the devil nine of cups though it says don't don't overindulge do, have just enough do just enough get just enough but don't overindulge the ten of cups it says you're going to be happy you're going to have fortune um, in your career and your finance um, but at the same time uh, make the choice that will not create bondage or be yeah, a bondage or you be bound to it that's this could even be as simple as getting into debt you know charging something and then having to pay it off on your credit card or so forth or signing up for that thing that is you know it's a subscription that is pretty um expensive each and every month the lover's card you know they want you to make healthy choices be systematic in your approach in terms of your career your finance you're gonna have to make some choice some um life alteration it could be within your finances yeah will of fortune aquarius whatever it is though it looks good just keep at it that's beautiful beautiful energy yeah um just make sure you don't you're not too forceful in terms of your um you know achievements you, you won't do anything for the money right um let's see and we've got some future energy what is it you know we'll go to what you should be focused on in terms of astrology whoa okay so we get a sagittarius coming out in the reverse that could be in your chart it could be someone that you're dealing with um so maybe not expanding or you know not being able to expand to be the adventurer to take flight to travel maybe you're working so much to where you can't do that semi-sextile allowing um see the potential clarify give hope uh, compensates it looks like you are compensating something is growing for you so see what is semi-sextile in your astrological chart get an astrological chart done no i do not do those uh i'm learning astrology i, I don't do it right now in the future i'll be able to help you out uh gemini the butterfly so it's about being curious being curious communicate versatile flexible um seek uh, um what is this seek social and uh collaborative efforts brilliant um street smart mobile superficial okay so make sure that you aren't being superficial with that devil coming out there um but it's also saying the butterfly uh, make sure you surround your, yourself around grounded and good people you know people who want the same thing as you people are not going to you know influence you the other way something about sex style so you've got an opportunity and then we did have the wheel of fortune showing up for you um it tells where hidden treasures are so it's like the universe is aligning things for you to take action on something for opportunity to come so you'd have to jump on some opportunity um aquarius the wheel of fortune also talks about if you're asking about a specific person yes they are a soulmate you can meet someone new it could be love at first sight that i know that was for career and finance this also could be you opening up to different maybe uh, um different what is it like uh social circles so we do have social in gemini so maybe you'll be hanging around or getting to know or rubbing shoulders with people who can actually help you in career and finance who can actually further your career or your finances okay with the will of fortune showing up it says the universe is aligning things for you to take um aligned action okay all right and let's see what the future holds for aquarius What does the future hold for Aquarius in love? What does the future hold for Aquarius in love? Let's see. Whoa, Aquarius. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. All right. <laughs> so we got marriage coming out. All right, so some of y'all get married. This is what you've been manifesting. This is what you want. It looks like you have somebody back here in the love sector that you both know that you love each other you like each other you are the one but it's like getting on the right 
wavelength, the right path, the right timing. It's just like you both just don't trust yourselves and you, then you don't trust each other. All right, one more card for a future energy for love for the Aquarius. Poverty. That was a twist, right? Um, hopefully you're not marrying it to something that's going to take you to poverty or can we clarify poverty? Can we clear? Oh, this is over. Maybe being by yourself is over. Wow. With the lovers. Okay. This is your person, Aquarius, whomever this is, um, you have called this in either, you know, this person or you will meet them. Okay. But what this reducing to a 10 this being all alone, feeling alone, feeling like you'll never meet someone, that's going to be over for you. You're going to have a lover, a friend, a marriage partner, a life partner. This is beautiful, Aquarius. All right, so what is the future energy for Aquarius for career and finance? Career and finance. Career and finance. Concern. All right, so slipping into depression, overthinking things here. You need to take some action, align action, okay, Aquarius? It looks like things are balancing out for you. Um, you're going to be falling into deep concern. Somebody's concerned also about maybe your financials. Distant. Some of you are just concerned about are, am I dreams going to are my dreams going to come true? Am I really going to get what it is I really want? Some of you are pondering about maybe spiritual things. You're learning about spirituality. It's, it's causing you to go into deep thought. You know, asking the questions about life and world and existence and you and this and that. Um. It, oh, and that could become a career for you. Some of you have career aspirations of maybe um, doing solo work, being self-employed, um, independent contractor. Uh, it looks like it will happen for you because this is close to the significator. So it's just like you, you're overthinking it. Yeah, it looks like you're going to have solid relationship in love with the house here. Something is arriving to you. And then also it's just about taking a line action steps, being systematic in your approach to maybe having your own business, doing your own thing, being independent contractor, being independent. Uh, I heard budget, budget, budget. That's what you need to do. This is what I have for you, Aquarius. If it resonates, let me know how it resonates for you. Down in the comment section, go over to the website, book there, ask a question or two by texting it to the number below. You can also catch me live every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday night, 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. You can come learn the Tarot with me. Tarot classes are linked below. Take, take the classes at your own pace or purchase all of the classes together still at your own pace at your own timing. All right. Thank you, Aquarius. Many blessings to you. Take care.